Hello, I'm Mike, and in this video I'll show you how to make an underwater muffled sound effect on your music track inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Get involved in one of my upcoming audio production courses. They open every couple of months for enrollment, and I always accept a maximum of 20 students each time, so I can provide personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to each and every student. If you'd like to learn more about the world of audio, head to mrc.fm slash learn. So here we are, and I've got a little video clip of some above water action, which eventually goes into underwater action. Now, wouldn't it be great if the music bed would kind of muffle and go while the camera is underwater? It's easier to do than you think inside Premiere Pro, and you can start off by going into the effects workspace to do a little search here in the search bar for low pass. You want the low pass audio effect, and you just drag and drop that onto your music bed. Now, by default, it's going to muffle the whole bed which is not what we want. So we need to take the value over here on the cutoff and change it to 20,000 hertz, or just as high as it'll allow you to go, up to 23,770. That's absolutely fine. So that's the maximum, and that'll bring your music back to life. And then to get that muffle effect uh, when our camera goes underwater, we simply add some keyframes. So in order to do this, I need to find the point at which the camera is going underwater. It kind of starts about here, so we'll first of all switch on the little toggle animation uh, little icon there, which switches that on, places the first keyframe, and then shuttle along using the arrow keys until we're definitely underwater, and place our next keyframe, and then for that keyframe value, we're going to change the cutoff down to 1000 hertz, and you will then get an effect that sounds like this. Let's go from the start. <laughs> And that is how you make an underwater muffled effect on your music track inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC.